Good evening. Tonight I'm going to tell you about fish fly. Bait fish pattern, I've been fishing for years. Mostly, we are spanking white. We are spanking white. There's a reducing white. Generally, I fish these for bass, sea trout, pollock, big brownies. Fish in the river a lot. They are awesome. This is a brown trout pattern. It's uh, blended about. It looks cool in the water, but the one thing of these patterns is they never tail wrap. We started fishing this maybe 15, 16 years ago up at Walk Inver. It was a guy called Kevin Muir. We fished with a lot. We were four tubing four or five miles off the road, and he had one which was blended. It was a lot smaller, it was half the length. It was blended with five or six cores. It was devastating. So that night, oh, that night, after I went home, uh, we were actually camping, right on a half mile of a campsite beside the sea. I tied a couple of chartreuse ones up, went out and saw a war, hammer pock. My streamer journey started. So, this fly has went from being an inch long right up to eight inch long i've started off an h2 pour fiber which is craft fur but the length of it is a problem they're quite short i went to uh magic carpet i've tried a lot of stuff i even tried from gloss and gun you name it feather tails everything but now i am using this stuff and this is uh, bait fish fibre, Deer Creek, all different colours in the sun. So, if I get ever untangle it, you get loads of masses in a hank. So, hook I'm going to use, I'm going to not find anything already, I'm tying for an hour. These ATEG things, they are cool. The shape of them is fantastic. Yeah, the size two. So, in the vice, zap a gap. The vice is about off center again. No good trying to do this in a hotel room on your phone. So, a little bit super glue. And the thread I'm using is just a hundred GSP. So you're going to attach your thread on about halfway down this little shank and wind it back to the bend. Right, for start, we're going to put in white, and I, when I mean we're not using a lot, we really are using a lot of it. So, that much, trim a couple of inch off it, this is just for the first one, fold it in half. So, what I do now is I taper everything with my fingers. Um, I've been fishing a little local pond of mine for trout and perch with these flies recently over the last year and it's been absolutely devastating rainbows so catch these in maybe one third sticking at the back two thirds at the front and fold them back tidy everything up next one i'm going to use an orange excuse me if i don't know what the colors are this is orange so Again, this is going to fold this over this time. I'm going to use it full length. Well, half length, but you know what I mean. No trimming off. And then I'm going to taper the ends again. Taper the points. Always taper the points in your fingers first. Then you know where you stand. So this one's going to be a wee bit longer than the white. But still split, so there's still more out the front. Catch that in. Fold that back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this forward. I'm going to put a couple under here. And this is just going to help kick it all back. This does look a mess just now, but it will come good in time. So that's the main bulk of the fly. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want browning off. Because we are on a brown trout fly, and we all know brown trout are not brown. So I'm just going to take... 
a little bit of brown, and I mean, when I mean a little bit, not much at all. A little bit of olive, same again, hardly anything. I'm going to stack it on top of each other. I'm going to brush it together. I'm going to fold it over, cut it, and then I'm going to taper all these again. Taper everything. It's so much easier tapering your fingers. Right, so now I'm going to tie this. So, I'm going to pick a tape on that. It's just longer than the, the orange. So now it's more sticking at the back than is the front. I'll catch it in a couple of times. And I'm going to bring my thread right down onto the hook shank. I'm going to fold it all back. Okay. And work finish. I don't know if you can see that, but then we're going to go into focus. God, it's crap on your phone, isn't it? So now, you've got your nice blended colours there, and you've got to shape it. So, what I do is, the white, I always want it flatter at the bottom. So, just trim the bottom, trim the white. There's a, your almost shape. Just make sure you're happy with it. I don't like any random starry bits sticking out, even though once you put it, get it wet, it will stay. Stay where it is, it will just all blend together, but I don't like it. Quite fuzzy. So, now for eyes. Eyes doesn't really matter. I like a black. Black and silver eye. These are about five or six mil. Pick whatever you want. Tilt your file over. Take your eye. A bit of glue, which is Loctite gel. Stick on so it's half on the thread, half on the baitfish fiber. Pop it over. Same again. So this fly design so it just doesn't tail wrap. Fish it all day, no issues. And the hook up, we've got this quite a small bite first pattern, it's only about three and a half inch long. They, they engulf it. This is also the fly that started me on the UV resin journey. I used to use epoxy, it was slow, slow it was messy. And it used to yellow, like tarnish after a while. Also, in your back cast, you used to hit a rock, you used to shatter them. I don't like that. So I tried a few different UVs, I tried most of them in the market. But I stopped when I found this stuff. This is the UV Flex, it's a fine flex. Absolutely excellent. It soaks right through, and because the way I'm going to put, uh, varnish this, it bends and it flexes rather than just snapping. So what I'm going to do, I've turned it upside down, I'm going to get this right in. Right, let it soak right through. And then I'm going to zap it. This is just when you turn your flight up the other way, this catches it, doesn't, your, your UV doesn't soak through and fall at the bottom. It doesn't need long because we'll give it a final zap. On its side, and I'm going to come round the back of the eye. Make sure you don't leave any bubbles. Then over the top of the eye, all the threads at the front. Same on this side. Then on top, I just tilt it up a bit in so it soaks in. Soaks right through. Hit this with a torch. I'm going to go a bit longer than I normally do because it's soaked into the fibres. It's um, 
give it a few seconds. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it another quick coat just so it soaks into the fibres. Just round the back of the eye, making sure I'm all the way through. And then, obviously, you've got, you disrupted a wee bit, so me being fuzzy, turn the other little bit off. That's it, already 100% tag free, no slime, nothing, yeah, nothing. So, next, the next trick is a bit of pen, it's obviously brown to spots, so I'll do it for a start, little red gills on, and then put dots on it. Dots and burn trout. You can also tie these cream in the bottom, black up the center, and like a brown on top, and it'll be a good minnow pattern, stickle back pattern. Um trout love these. A few little dots. Just random. And there you go, that there is a little bait fish pattern. The camera is absolutely rank, phone camera. <laughs>